somebody right, scribble scrabble. That's the only word that I can use to justify what that was because he couldn't tell me what he wrote. Well, Tuesday we had a pretend snow day because it did not snow. 15. Today is jam packed, I'm running late, and I have a few minutes to do this intro. But I came in this morning to things falling off the wall. In any given classroom, you can have kids that are two to three grade levels above and two to three grade levels below. Scribble, scrabble, okay? Scribble, scrabble. Together. The common denominator in this factor is you as a teacher. A cat. The story talked about bears, Dead deer, foxes, flagrant flowers. No cat. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so last week I didn't have a vlog out, so I skipped a week with vlogging simply due to the fact that on a Monday we came to school, everything was normal. Tuesday we had a pretend snow day because it did not snow. And then Wednesday I um, found out my baby had pneumonia and then Friday I took off. So it was just a whirlwind. So I want to talk for two seconds about Friday and then I want to give you my plan for today. Um, Friday was bad. My students did not behave well for the sub. And when I came back in this morning, all of my desk had been moved into rows. Like my whole room was rearranged due to the fact that behavior was such a big problem. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven kids on green, one child on yellow. I have 23 students in my room, okay? 23 students in my room. I have seven children. Seven children. <sighs> seven children that didn't get in trouble. 16 children that did. One child that got in a little bit of trouble. So 15 kids are on red. 15. <sighs> but today, um, the couple things that we're going to do, we're going to talk about how we behave when there's a substitute because I have a data meeting this afternoon. So I have a, a substitute for half a day today, and then I have a professional development on the 22nd of this month. And so I'm going to have a sub then too. So I cannot have my students not doing what they're supposed to be doing with the sub. So let me show you what I love for them. Well, let me show you my sub tip real quick. And then I'm gonna tell you the plan. So I purchased this pack from TPT and I'll leave a link below. But anyway, I had the subs folder with her instructions in there, for everything that she needed to do. I had a packet of work they needed to complete, which was this activity over here. I had a fun activity for them, but as you can see, it's completely full because I told her not to let them do it. Then I even had an early finishers packet for my students who were in a rush and were done before time. I left the remote and the clicker in there so she can have everything um, as she needed it. And then in this one, I've made it my turn in bin so that she know where everything wants to go. My room is um, pretty decent. Um, it's not too bad. But um, so what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to set up a VIP table in the middle. Um, with about eight discs and then everybody else is going to be um, in rows around it and we're going to see how that works.
Okay guys, so you just saw me basically moving my room around. I'm not quite done. I'm gonna put these two discs here and then I'm gonna go pick up my kiddos. As you can see, as you also saw, there's a lot of things that spilled out of disc. Um, it's their responsibility to keep their disc clean. So we're gonna do an anchor turn on that as well today for a reminder, cause we already have posters. But um, we're gonna talk about how we're supposed to keep our disc um, and the things we're supposed to use. So I will come back on with you guys when my kids go to the library. Okay. Sorry about my voice. I'm officially losing it. Um, <laughs> my voice that is. Um, so today was another pretty hectic day. Um, some things. Um, I had a data meeting. Um, for half a day to work on data and how I'm gonna grow my kids. So um, for the first half of the day, I met with Pink, Blue, and no Red. My my two lowest groups and then my middle level groups. I met with them. And um, I basically made a plan for a new schedule and a new setup. So I will show you guys all of that tomorrow because it is 325 and I have to leave in a few minutes. I need to get some things laminated. I got some papers to sign and I want to clean up to prepare for tomorrow. To show you what I'm going to be working on, I'm going to do my door tomorrow and I'm also going to be working on um, some anchor charts. So I will see you guys tomorrow and yeah, bye guys. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Um, today is Tuesday, February the 5th. Today is jam-packed. I'm running late, and I have a few minutes to do this intro. But I came in this morning to things falling off the wall. So this wall is bare because of this. I'm going to run it from wall to wall, just like I did my um, 120 um, chart back there. But um, hopefully next year I'll be able to bring the whole 120 out. So anyway, yesterday was a short vlog simply because um, I, ha I had half a day with my kids and then we had data meetings due to um, my our data being so low in first grade. So we were trying to figure out what we can do to fix that. So we really changed up a lot of things yesterday. We reworked a new schedule, a new small group schedule, um, a new overall schedule. And I can run you guys through that at another time. But really quickly, I want to show you what I did at home last night. If you follow me on Instagram. Um, you saw me already doing this but I organized my math centers so I have math centers that I had been cutting out cutting out cutting out and so what I did was I went ahead and organized those so I can get those in bins I organized my dice and my um, I use erasers as manipulatives and game pieces kids tend to love these I actually have some more in my car that I need to go grab um, then I have these that I inherited from a teacher who left. So I'm going to have these organized today. I'm going to get Beta Club to earn some hours. And then these little bins here are for my guided math lessons. And then um, I have some larger bins in my closet that is going to be for my math, monthly math stations and so these right here these will be monthly math stations and stations by um did i say that did i do that right let me think yeah these will be um station by standards and uh wipe and wipe 
ripe i can't even talk today right and wipe centers um and if you guys know who reagan tonstall is that is where i got all of that from and i will put a link to all of that um they're really awesome so i'll show you um the ones that i'm gonna put in centers today um when my kids go to specials um anyway i have some new bins coming that are going to be colored and those are going to be seasonal and i use these gallon size ziploc bags from aldi and they have a red one for normal and a blue for like freezer bags so what i'm going to do is put my um seasonal centers for language arts and math in the same colored bin and we're going to have um um red for math and blue for reading so that's how i'm gonna keep that organized the second thing that i have purchased on amazon are a few hot dot games so if you guys don't know how hot dots work you have this little pen and you put um um let me see they need triple a batteries which i probably should have picked those up yesterday so i have to get some um and then they get cards and they have to pick the find the picture that for for example on this one find the picture that begins with the p and there's little dots beside it and so they will put the pen on that dot i have zingo which i'll show you how that works i have this cute little uh swat game um, so it's basically sight words on flies. You spot a sight word, then you swat it. So um, I will have all of these games in play on Instagram. So make sure you're following me there. And then I have three levels of Let's Reading because, well, multiple leveled kids. Um, so if you got i know many of you are teachers so you already know this in any given classroom you can have kids that are two to three grade levels above and two to three grade levels below and because of that you have to accommodate for that which is where small groups come into effect but you also have to differentiate your centers so as you can see i have a first grade level i have a pre-k level and i have a kindergarten level and this way i can accommodate all of my students now i do have some students that are on a second and third grade level level i did not order those yet because i'm spending my own money so i will order them next time around i try to limit myself to only spending so much money in my classroom every month on things so yeah so i also picked up some candy to refresh my candy bin um i picked up some new headbands and some paper i also grabbed some pipe cleaner and I'll show you what I'm going to use that for later so I have a VIP table and I went to Dollar Tree let me see and I picked up just some glitter glue for them to use some two-sided markers some really cute sunglasses for them to wear because they are VIP puzzles for my kids to do for Fun Fridays. Um, because I have been promising Fun Fridays, I haven't been doing them um, because of behavior issues. But I decided that all of my kids should not have to suffer for the handful that don't do what they're supposed to do. So um, we will have Fun Fridays, but you have to earn it. I cannot reward you for poor behavior and I'm not going to do that. And I don't apologize for it either. So, you know, if you got an issue with that, you decide. But we talk about behavior, we talk about expectations, we talk about um, what I require of you and we do that on a regular basis. And if, you, if, if my students cannot follow my instructions, I cannot teach like I need to teach. And so other students suffer because of that and I am not okay with that. So anyway, that was my little rant so yeah so i got these double-sided markers glitter glue i have another pack of these glasses somewhere so i'll have them out on their table in a moment then i'm gonna put these up for fun fridays and i also have morning bins i like to do morning work with my kiddos versus morning bins so um morning tubs so those tubs are going to be called friday tubs and i'll have um uh five or six of them rolling at the same time maybe more um and i will show you my morning tub well my friday tubs for fun friday on friday um so yeah so let me just pick all this up and get my bag open and then i gotta go grab my kiddos and start my day so um i'm gonna do that really quick with you guys and then i'm gonna sign up
Okay guys, so it is officially end of school. Um, today was not as productive as I wanted it to be. Um, we did get a lot of things done, as you can see from my guided reading table, which I have to clean up. So um, all I'm gonna do this afternoon is um, find a place for all of the things that I organized last night at home and I am going to um, straighten up my guided reading table and get ready for it tomorrow. So one thing I did wanna show you guys are these really super cute, um, they're actually drink stirrers, drink stirrers. And I picked these up from the Target dollar spot and they say love if it will zoom so you guys can see that. It says love, which is really cute. And what we do with these is my students read their text and they can use either side to um, track, their, they can use either side to track their reading. So these are, this is one of the tools that I got and that was, it was like a pack of eight for a dollar. And then I got these from the Dollar Tree which um, helps the students to focus on one line at a time. So this is really good for my um, lower readers. Let me see, I have one more tool that I use. Um, so for me, it's important to have my students full attention um, and for them to have mine. So I wear this um, for, and it's actually glitter on the side. So I put this on um, during guided reading time and they know when I have that on, it gives me magical powers and I poof disappear. Um, so yeah. So right now, all I'm about to do is set you guys up and let you see me um, get my guided reading table organized. And throughout the process, I'm gonna be actually cutting some letters right there for my bulletin board, which I have not put up yet. So I'm hoping to get that up tomorrow. And then I'm gonna take a few things home to get organized and get put together and I have some grading and things that I need to do as well. So, let's get started.
guys, so I've just got my signal that I have to go. So I really quickly wanted to show you. Well, I hadn't gotten it yet, but I'm about to get it. So let me hurry up <laughs> um, and show you what I did today. So we did two quick anchor charts. I really don't like this one as much as that one. But um, we talked about go and do. So I just put the present tense forms of go and do. I mean, of go here, and then I gave them two examples, and then I gave them the past tense. Don't you hate it when you mess up your anchor chart? But I wasn't gonna start over. Um, and then I gave them do um, and does, and that it changes into did when it's past tense. So we've been working on that. I also did this really cute one. Um, shout out to whomever originated this idea. But it's basically about your main idea being a pizza, and the details being the um, toppings. So I did this with my students today and it was really fun for them trying to figure out what that was. They thought it was an egg. Somebody else thought it was a, what else did they say? They said egg, they said cake, um, which I don't know how they got egg from the brown. Um, and I can't remember the other guesses, but they were pretty much off the wall. So um, of course in the morning, we'll probably do a vlog from my car on the way here after i drop off my baby depending on what time we leave and then i can tell you guys what i'm doing last thing before i check before i sign out for today is i wanted to show you guys this um these little packets i got from the dollar tree and i just put all of my work in here and then i'm going to drop in my colored pens that i use and my easy grader um and i'll take this home in this and then that way it'll be easier for me to remember to bring it back I will talk to you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, so I have morning duty. Um, and so there is another fabulous intro from my vehicle because I get to school at like 7.27. And by the time I clock in and put my bags down, I'm headed to the cafeteria for duty. And then I can't check in again with you guys until um, the until my kids go to specials today. So um, I wanted to just kind of chit chat this morning and tell you guys what my plan is for today. Um, one of the things that my students are really, really Really struggling with and I was hoping that they wouldn't be struggling with this by now um, is the ability to transfer information um, like from the board to their paper so one of the things that I'm going to be doing let me let my camera zoom there we go one of the things that I'm going to be doing to combat that issue is um, instead of the morning work that I've been doing with them where either they um, write down a sentence and correct it even though that's transferring as well or if it was a morning worksheet that I found on CPT I am going to have Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday journal writing from the board something super simple as they're doing spelling pyramids one day um, you are writing a sentence using their sight words um, and then fixing a sentence which was what they've already been doing so i'm going to add those other two components just so they can get into the repetition of being able to copy from the board another thing that they struggle with is being able to fill in the blank so when i give them um what's called a sentence frame or a sentence stem for them to to help them out with their answers they don't they either don't use it or they use it incorrectly so let me explain to you what I mean. So we've been learning about main idea, which I showed you guys my main idea pizza on yesterday. I wrote a sentence stem on the board. The main idea of my text is blank period. We read a story called Vulture Views in our basil, and it was a great story about vultures, about what they eat, about how they gather, about when they hunt. It was it was a non-fiction text written in a fiction style because it had a lot of rhyming words if you put it all on one sheet it would basically look like a poem but anyway um it had lots of factual things on there so monday they read the story with their guest teacher and then they did a true false activity um where i have this trifold and i'll show you guys the trifold um um at 1 30. anyway um i'll show you guys the trifold this afternoon because we're gonna continue to work with it. So I have a trifold that they get on between Tuesday and Wednesday, the third day of instruction. Um, and at that time, 
when they are doing their trifold, um, when they did their trifold with their guest teacher on Monday, there was a true false activity. If it was true, you colored it green. If it was false, you colored it blue. So those are all the details from the story. The vultures hunt during the day. Um, do they eat foxes? No. Do they eat um, dead deer? Yes, because that was a specific thing in the text. So anyway, they they knew those details. So we read the story again on yesterday. We talked about the true and false details. We talked about what main idea was, the whole, the overall topic of the story, who or what the story is talking about, the main focus. And then I gave them some clues to look at the title and look at the word that is used the most in the story. You look at those words and they will tell you they will give you a specific idea or they will tell you what the story, the main idea of the story. We covered that. We sat on the rug, we did our anchor chart together. Come on and focus. We did our anchor chart together. Together, okay? We wrote our sentence frames together, okay? And then, then we wrote our sentence frames and we filled in the blanks okay we talked about where to find our details either on the side of our paper because you guys know a trifold is split into three so they did the right side of their paper with the guest teacher on monday that was true and false we were doing the middle por portion together and we're going to work on the essential question side today okay so i work backwards just because it's easier for my kids i feel like it's scaffolded better working backwards than working forward because they've had a lot of time with this information by then anywho and i'll show you specifically what i'm talking about once again but anyway so we're in the middle and we're at the bottom in the middle okay you with me the first question we get is what is the main idea of the text sentence frame on the board says the main idea of the text is blank vultures is the answer because that's what we said on the rug that's what we said when we were reading our book that's what we said when we were discussing our book three times and then the, at the bottom there were two dark text boxes and it said provide two details to support your main idea our sentence frame was a detail um a detail in our in the text is blank vultures hunt during the day they gather in trees they eat foods that reek they don't eat live food okay they fly I mean, I would have been good with that because they talked about how their wings spread. I would have been good with it. I had somebody write scribble scrabble. That's the only word that I can use to justify what that was because he couldn't tell me what he wrote. He could not tell me what he wrote. Scribble scrabble. Okay? Scribble scrabble. I'm still upset about that. Anywho, I had somebody write about a cat. A cat. The story talked about bears, dead deer, foxes, flagrant flowers. No cat. Mm -hmm. I had a child write, the main idea of the story is blank period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The struggle is real. So, when I see things like that, I reflect on myself as a teacher. I don't blame my kids, even though I'm frustrated with the level of retention of what I'm trying to teach them. But I reflect on myself as a teacher to try to see what area, what position, what um, modeling did I not do that caused them to suffer as a teacher if the kids are not understanding what you're teaching and if it's not clicking with all of your kids then the common equation the common denominator in this factor 
is you as a teacher. And so um, one fab teacher said this on one of her videos that you always have to remain humble because there's an area as a teacher there's always somebody who can do it better there's always somebody who knows more than you do and it's okay because we this is a learning environment as a teacher you never stop learning never because you cannot be your best self if you don't have the best knowledge so you never stop learning so you know what i did i talked to a um she's now an ell specialist um but she taught first grade for eight years I got with my reading coach and I figured out that my morning work has to consist of more transferring information, of more filling in the blank, of more sentence stems so that my children will be able to do this without frustrating their teacher to the 100th degree. But more importantly, be able to do it so that they can increase as scholars. And I, my job as a first grade teacher is to ensure you are reading on a very close to second grade level or higher when you leave me. So I will talk to you guys about my schedule. Like I said, I got a guided reading series coming up really soon. And I will talk to you guys when my kids go to specials, but I gotta go. Hi guys. Um, so... This morning I had to hop off pretty fast because I was late for my duty. But anyway, um, my kids are going gone to PE. I have a visitor. Um, and I have a few things that I need to knock out. I'm very proud of myself today. I saw all five of my group. All five. All five. Yes, I did. And I um I got a lot of things done. We still have some things we need to work on. That transfer thing, still got to work on it. But you guys know what I'm doing for that. So right now, all I'm going to do is prep for math in a moment. I'm going to take 10 minutes to prep for math. And then I'm going to go ahead and start running my copies for next week. And what else did I need to do? Now, I'm not going to run my copies for next week. I'm going to get my copies together to run for next week. I'm going to do that. And then the only other thing I wanted to do was um, get this stack of stuff up here. Yeah, you see that? All of that right there. Yeah, I got to get that organized because I just kind of threw it over there because I was going to be out and I didn't have time to like go through everything. So I stuck everything over there. So I'm just going to do that first and then I'll hop back on with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so it is officially the end of the day. I am in workout gear because we had running club today after school, so I had to go ahead and do that. So that's why my home looks like that. Yeah, it's not very conducive for my mind right now. So I am just going to clean this mess up and I'm not gonna um, record that but tomorrow I'm gonna walk you I'm gonna do my door on camera tomorrow and then I'm also going to um, walk you through our new anchor charts and the plan for tomorrow today was pretty good we got a lot of things done we're almost through with our trifolds um, I really like changing from the five day to the seven day schedule with wonders and I'll go into more detail about that tomorrow um so yes yeah, so I'm just gonna finish cleaning up getting things straightened up get my copy folder together and get out of here so I'll see you guys on tomorrow bye guys good morning beautiful people today is Thursday and I have a plan and I don't have a plan for today so yesterday I had to go ahead and leave I wasn't able to stay as long as I thought I was gonna be able to um, so I didn't finish my table and I'm gonna do that really quick um, after I make sure my PowerPoint is up to date for this for today um, the plan today is to have small group all day because we've read our story multiple times we have a couple of quizzes that we need to take we're going to finish up our phonics our um trifold here so yesterday we did this part for the grammar and mechanics so we're going to finish up the phonics they're going to write two words with the same long o spelling pattern and then we have the open syllable so they're going to use a slash to divide the words 
and then they're gonna come down here at the bottom and circle two words with the same ending sound we've already done the true false activity um, we've done this portion as well the only thing we haven't done is listing the two characteristics and then respond and then responding to the essential question I like to save this portion um, responding to this central question to closer to testing because we've worked with it for so long so they'll have a better understanding of it so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do this morning go ahead and get prepped and get ready to go um, so yeah so um, we have read a total of one two two stories we've also read a poem when it's snowing and then in the back of our books our small group books we have this about ducklings and it talk it's going to compare baby alligators to ducklings and then we're also going to compare the mouse to the vulture and when it's snowing so what i plan to do is do this in small groups today because this was in our small group um, book and then independently they're going to do this activity on their own because it's basically identical so we're gonna model together in our small group using the duckling book and our small group book and then we are going to um, I'm gonna set them off to do independent practice using their poem and their big book. So this is gonna be very interesting to see um, happen. So I got, I'm gonna start um, guided reading, our guided reading immediately this morning. So our schedule is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna run guided reading fully through and then we'll come together and work on um, doing our other activities.